Christ stands ready to forgive you right now. My friends, we read in Romans chapter 10 that the Word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the Word of faith through that salvation that we are proclaiming. That is, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. And then we read, as the Scripture says, anyone who trusts in the Lord will never be put to shame. Anyone who trusts in the Lord will never be put to shame. My friends, I, I implore you right now to take heed of this gospel message that we proclaim to you tonight. To take heed of that which you are hearing and to turn to Christ in faith. To turn to Christ in repentance. To realize that this road that I'm on is the wrong way. I've got to turn around because if we're going to sin, if we're going our own way, we can't be going to God because they are diametrically opposed to each other. 180 degrees. We can't do it. We can't have this life and we can't have God. We cannot have it all, ladies and gentlemen. We might think we can, but we cannot have it all. Anyone who trusts in the Lord will never be put to shame. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That is a summation of the Gospel message, ladies and gentlemen. That Almighty God took it upon Himself to step from His throne in eternity into this realm of time and space that He created to take on flesh, fully man, fully God, clothed in flesh, Just as we put on a, a full-length raincoat during a severe storm, so Christ put on flesh, fully God, clothed Himself in flesh, taking on the form of a servant. He came to seek and to save what was lost. He took on the form of a servant. He came to serve by giving His life as a ransom for those who believe. Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, lived the life that we cannot live. He died the death that we deserve taking the wrath of God in our place. He was raised from the grave on the third day. His resurrection demonstrates two foundational truths. Number one being His power, His victory, His sovereignty and authority over sin and death and the grave, as well as the authority, uh, as well as the acceptability of His sacrifice before a holy God. And Jesus Christ alone is mighty to save, ladies and gentlemen. You can't get there through your philosophy department at USC or Clemson, NC State, UNC Chapel Hill. You cannot do it. You cannot get there through the philosophy of Dr. Oz and Oprah Winfrey. Ladies and gentlemen, they will damn your souls. Jesus Christ alone is mighty to save. And He says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God is a good God ladies and gentlemen and that is a terrifying thought because no one is good but God no one is good but God we might be nice we might be sweet as pie but no one is good but God and we need for him who is good to intervene on our behalf to do that which we are powerless to do to make salvation possible and that is exactly what he did 2,000 years ago in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ so my friend, I cry out to you tonight to turn to Christ and live. To turn from your self-deception of autonomy. To turn from the attitude that you are the master of your fate or the captain of your ship.
to look to Jesus Christ alone, to cry out to Him, trusting in Him alone, that you may live. 